The crime scenes are still being preserved at this time, and I just learned from a spokesman for the attorney general's office that the police barricades that they have set up um, off Union Hill Road, they will remain in place now, I'm told, until the investigation is over. Right now, more than 100 law enforcement officers are assisting in this investigation. I'm told they're done processing the crime scenes, though. The focus is now on searching the wooded areas around where the rodents were killed for any additional evidence. Attorney General Mike DeWine says 18 items are at the BCI crime lab right now where they're being examined for any DNA evidence. Investigators confirmed for us last night three marijuana grow operations were found at the crime scenes. DeWine won't say if drugs were directly connected to the murders, but he did say the killer or killers had these murders well thought out. This was a pre-planned execution of eight individuals. It was a sophisticated operation. And those who carried it out were trying to do everything that they could do to hinder the investigation and their prosecution. And Wine says they've received more than 100 tips, interviewed between 50 and 60 people, and also executed five search warrants, one at each of the crime scenes. Investigators, though, still won't comment on that fifth location. Reporting live in Piketon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. And as the investigation intensifies, the people in Pike County are trying to understand and deal with the scope of this tragedy. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is live now with a reaction from the high school where two of the victims were students. Brian, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Well, this is the first day back at Piketon High School since the shootings. As you can imagine, a very difficult day for classmates and former classmates of many of the Roden family. Uh, many of these victims were in their 20s, even a 16 year old. You can see here at the school uh, the flags that have staff. Students arrived to school here this morning. The district was prepared for a level of emotions. The grief counselors have been called in to work with students. Some of the students say it was a tough trip to make into school today after what happened. One of the students we talked to had been very good friends with Hannah Roden. She was one of the family members who was shot to death. Um, it's really hard, especially for her like closest friends and the rest of her family. And just coming to school today and everybody's gonna be upset and just not feeling school today. And it's going to be really hard for everyone. Again, this flag here at Piketon High School at half staff today. Uh, the buses brought the students in here today. And again, they met with uh, grief counselors or are meeting with them at this hour. Administrators say it will be a difficult time for these students, but they are also using this as a teachable moment. Many lessons to come out of this for students in this community. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.